It's me, King Human. Listen up. This is an important video. Watch the whole thing. Okay, here's what's doing. I want to talk to you guys as if you were my friends and we were sitting down to lunch. Because here's what's doing. I had somebody come to me and uh, ask me a serious question. Let's, let's call him Pete for the sake of argument. That's not his real name, but let's just say Pete. And he asked me, hey, King Human, I want to get into business really bad. I want to strike out on my own. I don't like this J-O-B situation, just over broke. But I'm surrounded by people that want to keep me down. They keep telling me I can't do it and that I'm foolish for trying. What do I do? Now, I want to tell you, I really respect that question. And a lot of people would just give you a simple platitude and say, sack up, dude, don't listen to him, blah, blah, blah. It's not as easy as that. And I know that because I was where you are. So I know that the psychological programming is intense and it's tough to break out of that. I just can't give you a simple answer like just do it or you know anything like that because we're dealing with deep, deep psychological barriers. Now, I do wanna tell you something. First thing you should do is recognize why these people are trying to keep you down. It's not because they don't care about you. It's not because they don't think you can succeed. In fact, they probably think you will succeed and that's why they're trying to keep you down. The reason why they're trying to keep you down is because you represent a threat to their core belief system. So if they see you escape from being a battery in the matrix, it takes away their core belief system. It makes them think, wow, if he escaped the matrix, what's my excuse for not escaping the matrix? So that's one reason why they keep trying to keep you down and tell you why you can't do something and you know why you shouldn't try and why you're foolish for trying to go into your own business. That's reason number one. Reason number two is they actually believe that bullshit. Uh, my voice. They actually believe the bullshit they're spouting. Why? Because it's what's been programmed into them all of their life. Again, it's part of their core belief system. So they're just parroting the crap that they've heard all of their life because that's all they know how to do. They've been told that is the fact. And then they've been told if anybody ever challenges that concept, parrot this shit back to them. You can't do it. You'll never succeed. Look, I've heard that shit all my life. All my life growing up, I heard that. And you know what? When I escaped from that negative input, it probably took about a year or two after that, and then boom, things started to happen. I started to believe in myself. Now, I'm not saying this to tell you what a great person I am or, or you know, say, hey, I'm great, look at me, do what I do. What I'm telling you here, again, this is friend to friend. What I want you to do is study some psychology so that you can understand yourself and you can understand those negative outside inputs better. I, you know, it's not a one size fits all situation. You're dealing with psychology here and everybody's mental makeup is different. So the best advice I can give you is study psychology so you can understand your own mental makeup and you can put things in context. Now, a platitude would be if I told you, you just gotta ignore those people because you know, you, you can't let them influence you. They're, 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 ign they're ignorant. They know nothing. So you cannot let them affect you. That's the platitude, right? But it's, it's not just saying you have to ignore these people. You have to learn how to ignore these people. And that's a whole different thing. I don't wanna give you an easy answer. This is gonna be the toughest thing you ever do. Studying your psychology, studying psychology so you understand where you are in your own skin.
And that's not gonna be easy, but if you do it, if you invest a little bit of time into understanding your own psychological dynamic, you'll be able to accomplish what you want to accomplish. That's not a lie. That's not a platitude. That's real. So that's my best advice to you. Now, having said that, those of you that are not the guy that wrote me this letter and asked me this question, this applies to you too. But you have to take some positive steps as well. Remember, in order to succeed in anything, you need to do three things. You need to get a specific education for what you want to accomplish in life. Next, you need to apply yourself. And third, you need to persevere. I get a lot of people saying, King Human, um, I, I'm trying some of the things that you teach on how to make money online, but I'm not making any money. What's wrong? Nothing is wrong. You are going down a path. This is not instant success time. There's no such thing as instant success, instant riches. If you want to make this kind of money, the kind of money that a doctor makes, a lawyer makes, a senator makes, a congressman makes, you want to make big money. It's going to take time. It's going to take effort. It's going to take an education and it's going to take perseverance. You're on a path, stay on that path. You don't know how long that path is gonna be, but I'll tell you, if you stop walking that path, you have a 100% chance of not achieving your goals and getting to where you wanna be. So that's, that's my lecture. I hope it resonates with some of you guys. And I hope that you will share this video with somebody that you know will benefit from this. Because you've, you've got to do certain things. You've got to change. If you keep doing the same things over and over again, nothing's going to change. So there it is, guys. Okay, maximum respect. I hope this makes sense to you. Uh, donate a few bucks to help us a kid at St. Jude's Research Hospital for Kids. What could be better?